Good morning, people. You might be able to hear um, pumpkin in the background. She's ready to be fed. <laughs> pumpkin in just a minute. But anyways, so today I have lots of stuff planned. Um, most of this video. Okay, first I'm going to feed the dog because she won't be. So for my outfit of the day, um, first of all, I don't know if I'm going to keep up with this little color all day. I might just reapply before we leave later because it's going to be a few hours before we leave. Um, this, I'm, gonna have, I'm out of breath from getting dressed and stuff. This new Calvin Klein hoodie that I got at Sam's Club and it was 20 bucks. And it is so cozy and I'm so glad Robert talked me into getting it. And then it should fit me for a little while and it has these slits on the side. So, yeah. And then these green pants, don't mind that laundry. That barely fit me. They only fit me because they're so low ride. So, I won't be able to wear these much longer. And I just got my slippers on right now. But that is my outfit of the day. So, as you can tell, like, very plain still. And now that I got my rug in there and we have an idea of which couches we like, I'm ready to get some more stuff on that wall, finish the collage, and we know which kitchen table we like we know what our kitchen's gonna look like for a little while so that my big table that i love so much that you might have seen in a cleaning video um we took down so we have more space in there because one the dogs stay in there now and um this most of the day they stay in there and then when robert gets home in the evening we let them roam and then they go back in there to go to bed because if we don't then buttercup will pee on any rug she loves peeing on rugs i don't know what it is when we did, we had a period of time when we moved here for like months we didn't have a rug and we didn't have a big living room rug and she did not pee in the house at all but at the old house in our apartment she would always pee on the rug so i don't want to risk it <laughs> so i'm not letting her stay out in the living room all night because she'll probably pee on my rug and i don't want to risk it so she is older now and we are working on training her but like i still feel like if we let her out while we have that rug, she'll pee on it. And it's the most expensive rug we've gotten. And they have that plenty of space in the kitchen, as you saw. So at night, they're not locked up all the way in the cage or anything. So, yeah, I don't feel as bad about it. Even though sometimes I miss them so bad and I want to cuddle. I don't want her to pee on my rug. Especially because we don't have babies on that rug and everything. So she just has to sleep in there at night. But anyways, I got sidetracked. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, and we know what kitchen table we're gonna go in, that is going to go in there. We found one that we like, so hopefully we can still get it when we decide that we're ready to order it. So this is the table. It is a rustic look and it is like a mint bluish, light blue, it says sky blue. But, so on this wall, I might put something there, or there, or just up there, I'm not sure. And then the wall with the couch, has nothing and it goes all the way into the kitchen and then this wall this collage is not finished and then this wall is finished that needs to be decluttered but yeah that's my huge goodwill pile that i need to take to goodwill but so in this room it has a lot of brown color that is dusty sorry a lot of brown colors rustic colors and blues and then this more rustic and blues and same with the couch blues and grays rustic lamp and stuff being good girls um so then i have this as my pantry and is overflowing and a mess so i might find something to help organize that and i gotta get rid of the christmas decorations still but then once again plain walls Plain walls above the cabinets on both walls. Plain, 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 plain. <laughs> For my personal style, I like to add like rustic, but I also like to add grays and furs and mirrors and glamness, if that makes sense. And I really like those, the glamish look with the rustic look put together. And I feel like it makes it more homey, but it's still like pretty and everything. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that is what I like, and that is what I'm going to be looking for. Guess what? We're on our way to Hobby Lobby, finally. I've been waiting for two and a half days, and I'm going to 
eat these. He brought these home to me yesterday. They're gluten-free peanut butter chocolate pretzels. And they're really good. So, yeah. We're here. Hobby Lobby. Run you over. What do you think of this cow? For the kitchen. Not feeling. It's not ill. <laughs> I love the way it smells in here. This is cute. Babe. Oh, those are cute. Welcome to our nest. What's this little one? That's so cute. I wish we knew what we have it. I'd totally be buying nursery stuff right now. <laughs> this is cute. That's cute. I feel like we're finding all the kitchen stuff. You want a sign that says kitchen? <laughs> That's the one I originally wanted, but now I might want a different one. I don't know. And they're 50% off. And a little unfinished cross that was um, cheap, so we'll have to paint it. Um, but I felt like everything in there was rustic, which I love all the rustic stuff, but I don't want my whole house to be rustic, especially like if everyone else's house is going to be rustic. I like some rustic stuff in it, but I just didn't want everything to be rustic. So it was really hard. <laughs> so, and then there's a lot of stuff I was unsure about. So we just got those three things and now we're going to Ross, which is literally in the same parking lot on the other side. So, I want to see if they have anything like pretty and shiny or just that is decor and not rustic. Got anything you want to say? Nope, not really. You agree with me? Yep. <laughs> okay. And I'll show you that stuff again later. But we have, we got three things and it was like $35. So, that's really good considering like the original price on the big items are more than $20. So, Okay, it's favorite. Dumbo. I know it's Dumbo. I'm saying elephants are my favorite. It can go um, on the same wall that the other thing goes on. So that was a very fast and, um, what was I going to say, successful trip. And we spent less than $30. And I got like four or five maternity shirts. We got bonitos and a collage picture frame thing. And then it was all less than $30. So that was like amazing. And fast. We weren't in there long at so all. So that's a win-win in my book. <laughs> so I'll show you everything when we get Yeah. So we're home now. I'm going to do a haul for the dogs in. Got my princess pajama pants on. <laughs> so at Ross, like I said, we got bonitos because we like bonitos. And then the shirts, I got this green one, it has lace on just the very top of it and then on half the sleeve and it's longer and it was only $2.99. So I thought it was a really good deal and then once it gets closer to spring and then in the beginning of spring when I'm at my biggest, I feel like it will fit me. And then I got this um, Disney shirt has Dumbo on it and it says big things start small and has a cute little elephant on it and um, it was $3.99 this black one is exactly the same as that green one same price $2.99 and then my last maternity shirt this one was a little more expensive but it was still cheap it is a Wonder Woman shirt 
and it was 549. And then the last thing at Ross was this picture frame and it was 799. And like I said, I like to add this white and the silver glam look with the rustic look. So as you see on this wall, it just has rustic and that mainly has rustic. So I think I'm going to put it right here instead of that one. Yes, I love that there. Definitely going to change that out and move that somewhere else and put that there. And then Hobby Lobby. This is the cross that we got. It is $7.99. It was 30% off. And I'm just going to have Robert paint it. And it is going to go right there. Perfect size, babe. Good choice. Don't know what color we're going to paint it yet. <laughs> and then we got this for the kitchen. It was on clearance for $16. It says coffee is always a good idea. And I really love the way it looked and all the different shades and everything. Not positive where this is going to go because as you saw, we have lots of plain walls. So, and we didn't buy enough stuff to cover everything. Just a little out of time. And then this was on clearance for, on sale, well not clearance, for $8, which is a really good deal. It's really heavy and really big arrow with three picture frames. So this might go above the couch or it might go, yeah, plain wall. They've already seen it. <laughs> uh, might go with the couch or in the hallway or in our bedroom. Not sure yet on this either. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> and Robert's my cameraman, in case you didn't catch on. <laughs> He's always my cameraman if I have a cameraman. Um, so yeah. And now, he is going to make turkey burgers and tater tots. Right? He's yep. tired. And I am really tired, and I had a really productive day, and I'm really happy, and now I'm just hungry and tired. So hopefully you enjoyed this shop with me and haul. There was some maternity stuff in it. Which I was I there too. And hopefully you enjoyed my husband, in case you didn't hear him, he said I was there too. <laughs> so, um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed seeing all the stuff we got, and I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, I didn't know she used to work there. So this looks so good, I had to share it. I'm having an open face turkey burger with spinach and other greens, some cheese, some mayonnaise, ketchup. And we're about to have these tots. He's having a salad and no bread. He's a little healthier than me. Mine's gluten-free bread. Yummy, yummy.